Welcome to Bentonville, y'all. Earlier this month, I had the opportunity to go to this eclectic town in northwest Arkansas. It has a Stars Hollow kind of feel to it, with a unique mixture of American history and New Age hipster. Its quaint charm features craftsman homes, beautiful parks, and tons of small businesses. It's home to one of the largest retail stores in the world, Walmart, but it's anything but a thriving metropolis. It's got a small town feel that is perfect for families of all ages, but with something for everyone to enjoy. There's restaurants for every table activities for the kiddos, and family-friendly fun that's sure to keep everyone entertained. If you're looking to stay right in the heart of downtown, I recommend the 21C Museum and Hotel. It's one block from Bentonville Square and is within walking distance of all the downtown happenings. Not only are the rooms luxurious, but the hotel also features a free museum to guests and non-guests alike. And since the museum is located in the hotel lobby, that means the artwork is available for viewing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The art changes every 10 months or so, but the current installation is called The Future is Female. It features the work of female artists all expressing themselves through their craft. How about grabbing a bite to eat downstairs at the Inn Hotel restaurant, The Hive? Unlike most hotel restaurants, this eatery was definitely not an afterthought. The first thing you'll notice is Johnston Foster's art installation, Buzzkill. Using all recycled materials, he creates a scene where you feel like you've stepped right into a honeycomb. At The Hive, Chef Matthew McClure is the driving force between this restaurant's success. McClure is the only chef in Arkansas to achieve the distinguished honor of being a James Beard Award finalist six years running. And let me tell you, his food is not only beautiful, but it also is executed perfectly and is packed with tons of flavor. Looking for something to do? How about taking a walk through Compton Gardens? They have some beautiful nature trails you'll enjoy strolling through. Or are you more of a thrill seeker? Compton Gardens has an awesome mountain biking trail that you can go up, down, and hit the curbs on. Crystal Bridges is a completely free museum that you could easily spend an entire day at. Whether it's checking out the permanent exhibits, the color field in the North Forest, or enjoying the sounds of the Summer Forest Concert Series, this amazing museum is just fantastic. Don't forget to check out the Eleven restaurant there and grab a table by the window so you can enjoy the stunning view that Moshe Safdie created in this architectural stunner of a building. At the museum, you'll see works of art from all the different art movements and everything is laid out in chronological order, so you'll see how art as we know it has changed and evolved over time. Make sure to also head outside to the color field as well. The color field is an outdoor sculpture exhibition that highlights bold colors and pops of vibrancy throughout the background of the North Forest. These contemporary pieces are fun, bold, and interactive, so get ready to immerse yourself in color and fun at this exhibit. If you're in town on a Saturday morning, make sure to go to the center of town for the farmer's market. This was one of my favorite events of the entire trip. At the farmer's market, you'll meet the local artisans, farmers, and artists all eager for you to see their wares. My personal favorites were the sourdough bread, fresh veggies, and hand-picked flowers. It was also fun to listen to the unique musical talents that Bentonville has to offer. The singers and musicians created such a lively soundtrack for the people passing by. You could also watch basket weavers, wood bowls being made, and signs being painted by hand. While you're downtown, make sure to stop by Remedy Road for a little shopping. Their mission to do good and help others is super inspiring and their clothing and goods are adorable too. Press Room has some tasty food as well. The fried chicken sandwich and fries are super tasty and will keep you going after a morning of playing at the Splash Park at Lawrence Plaza. You can also have dinner and cocktails in an old church at the Preacher's Sun or find a new outfit at the label. Need a little jolt to get your day going? Stop by Onyx Coffee Lab. They have tables you can sit outside with your four-legged friends or go inside and watch the baristas carefully craft your drink. I'm always so mesmerized by the art that can be created out of the foam on my latte. And make sure you get the mocha. It was amazing. Being the home of Walmart, of course there has to be an ode to Walmart. And boy, do they have one. The Walmart Museum is a lot neater than it sounds. When you first enter, you'll feel as though you've stepped back in time into an old general store. Giving the feel of Sam Walton's first store, you can see and purchase all of the nostalgic candies and sodas from the era. 
Enter into the museum and you'll see a complete timeline of Mr. Walton's life. His personal successes, losses, and legacy are all on display here, and even his old truck is parked right in the middle of the room. When exiting the museum, you'll enter into the Spark Cafe, an old-time soda shop and complete with ice cream cones, shakes, and sundaes. So order something at the counter, sit in a booth, and enjoy looking around the room at all of the timely posters and memorabilia from the 50s. If you're looking to get off the main drag, you'll want to head over to the 8th Street Market. There, they have a cool new restaurant called The Holler with Shuffleboard, Sweet Freedom Cheese where you can sample cheese from all over the world and even order a grilled cheese sandwich, and also Markham & Fitz chocolates. At Markham & Fitz, you can order many different types of chocolates and take a behind the scenes tour of how the chocolates are lovingly and painstakingly taken out of their cacao shells, roasted, and made into creamy, delicious chocolate. This chocolate shop is also the perfect nighttime hangout because they make the most delicious craft cocktails that will knock your socks off. No matter what you're interested in, Bentonville has something for you. Interested in history? Try out the Museum of Native American History. Don't be surprised if you walk in and see a 12,000 year old mammoth right there in the entryway. Do you enjoy music? Head over to the Meteor Guitar Gallery and for 50 cents, you can get up close and personal with all of their unique guitars they have on display. So take a hike, go for a bike ride, grab an ice cream cone, enjoy a picnic in the shade, or sit on a patio and watch the day go by. Bentonville is a beautifully kept city with all of the small town charm and big city amenities you could ever want. To see more about this beautifully unique city, check out the full blog post at hurriedhostess.com.